Welcome back to the Free Miles MC and we're going to talk today about my Royal Enfield Interceptor 650 and five things that I do not like at all about this motorcycle that come up over and over again when having experienced this bike for the last half year. This is kind of the second part to the video uh, five things I love about this bike and today we're going to face the negatives. So on place number five, the thing that bothers me the least, I would say, but it's still quite a big issue, is the stock tires on this motorcycle are just really, really bad. Like, uh, the bike does not have a lot of grip in the curves. You don't, do not feel safe really pushing the bike. And also, as soon as conditions become a bit worse, like with rain and cold weather, it is such a slippery tire to ride on. And really not satisfied with that experience and you often have experiences where the bike slips out on the front or in the rear in a curve and that is just really scary and i now have new michelin tires on there that i will try out in the next season and that i cannot wait to ride on because with other tires this bike would have been great but uh, with the tires when you buy this bike for the first few thousand kilometers until you change the tires you will have a not very good contact to the road Point number four on the list of things that I do not like about my Royal Enfield Interceptor is the not off switchable ABS. Uh, it is something that comes up over and over again because if you look at the commercials for this motorcycle they take this bike also on the one or other gravel road and I use this bike for touring. So if you ride occasionally on not the best road surfaces and you will still want to rely on your brakes uh, it is just a pain in the ass to not be able to switch the ABS off and I multiple times Times had moments where I thought why is it not off switchable and the moments where you regret that the bike doesn't have an off switchable ABS are always the moments where you would need it uh, and that's always not a very nice feeling so I hope that maybe at some point in the future there will be a version that has the ABS off switchable occasionally there were rumors about a uh, Royal Enfield Interceptor scrambler version that probably would then come with an off switchable ABS and that would be something that I would be really interested in as a bike. So number three on the list of things that I do not like about this motorcycle is something that is not really Royal Enfield's fault and that kind of deserves its own video about modern classic motorcycles in general. When you buy this bike you kind of want to feel like James Dean or a Steve McQueen sitting on a cool old motorcycle and want to experience this nostalgia and this, here it comes, authenticity. The problem with this perspective on looking onto modern classic motorcycles and especially with this whole authenticity thing, that's not real. And if you buy this bike, you will look at this bike thinking you will get that, but you won't because it cannot be done. In the end of the day, it's still a modern bike and you will feel much more like just an all-around cool guy on a motorcycle that you experience a lot with. So for everyone who rides already a motorcycle, you will probably feel way cooler on something like your first motorcycle that you actually experienced riding a motorcycle for the first time than something like a modern classic bike. And this is also the case here with the Royal Enfield Interceptor. I personally also own a Yamaha XJ that I did many crazy tours with and experienced many crazy things on and I always feel much more authentically cool on that bike than I would ever feel on this. But if you, if you look into this bike with the thought of, oh yeah, I'm going to be that cool guy on a Royal Enfield Interceptor 650, you will not feel like that. Uh, which is something that you can only find out by buying one of these and that is probably never mentioned in any review. Um, so that's one thing that definitely is the case for me here. So number two on the list of things I don't like on the Royal Enfield Interceptor is when you sit on it. The feeling of size of the motorcycle and your own size is off. Normally when you sit on a motorcycle you feel like you sit on this big bike and it gives you the satisfying feeling of sitting on a proper motorcycle. This is not the case here. With the narrow rear end and with how you sit on this seat, um, it just doesn't feel like that. It's, it's normal to have this feeling a little bit on older motorcycles because they're more narrow, because modern motorcycle trends go to wider and wider motorcycles. But those bikes usually feel like proper motorcycles in the way that they kind of feel like a contraption and give you this feeling of this is a proper bike uh, just by having the power combined with the feeling of it actually being old. And I said in my earlier video on things I love about the bike, how 
authentically old it feels. That is true, but that can only be true so much because the modern motorcycle shines through enough there to take away that feeling of sitting on a proper motorcycle. I often feel when sitting on this motorcycle a bit off. Uh, a bit pretentious and also I feel in public when sitting on this motorcycle kind of like if I would be wearing khaki oversized pants like some of my old geography teachers because uh, the vibe is just a bit off from sitting on it I feel like. Number one on the list of things I don't like about the Royal Enfield Interceptor 650 is its struggle with rust and coercion. This motorcycle is a rust bucket. You can definitely prevent that from happening with loads of care after every time you ride this bike. I polished this bike so much and I could not get it done and had to take it to the dealership for them to help me out getting this bike in proper condition again. Um, and if you ride this bike, you constantly have to take care of it and like constantly, I mean way more than you would have to do with any other bike. And also, this is a beautiful weather bike. Rain does not does this motorcycle any favors. The rust collects in the bottoms of the mirror um, because that's where the water collects. Water comes into the exhaust and destroys the end of the exhaust. In general, the exhaust really quickly gets little bits of flying rust. And that is kind of one of the areas where you see the price of this motorcycle. Because if you look at a Japanese motorcycle that has a similar amount of chrome, coincidentally, even though it's not a that great looking bike, the Yamaha XJ has a similar amount of chrome to the Royal Enfield Interceptor, especially on the exhaust. And I had a bike like that for 500 bucks that was already 30 years old. And the chrome looked still really good on it. And I rode that bike through the Sahara Desert. I rode it, uh, like over thousands of kilometers through th salty streets in the winter. I rode this bike every day. I let it stand outside. I rode it through Iceland. In Iceland it sank in a river. In Iceland it was exposed to so much salty air and salty street salt. That bike has also experienced a few crashes that damaged the chrome. But the coercion and rust on that motorcycle with absolutely zero care because it was 500 bucks, it struggled less with coercion in over a year than this motorcycle did in two months. And wow, that's, that's crazy, I have to say. You definitely can still ride the bike and have a good time with it. And it's a really reliable bike. You just really need to take care of this bike constantly. Like you really need to have never dull in your garage and as soon as you see just the slightest things coming up also on the engine you need to polish this bike like crazy. On top of that comes that many of the great design features of this motorcycle that make this bike look so beautiful are very hard to polish. For example there's one little bulge on the exhaust that goes around the whole thing that is impossible to polish properly. This motorcycle is now polished to the maximum extent of what I can do and what a Royal Enfield dealership can do and I still cannot get rid of the rust next to that bulge because it's such a tiny corner that with whatever I try it I cannot get in there and remove the rust and with a new motorcycle, that is just such a humbling experience. So those were the five things that I don't like about my Royal Enfield Interceptor. Is it still a great bike? Yes, of course. I also made a video about five things that I love about this bike. You can check that out right here. And in general, it's a really good bike. And those were just the complaints that come up when you own this motorcycle and the things that come up over and over again. So if you look into this motorcycle, now you know. If you like what I do here on YouTube, feel free to subscribe and leave a like and write your little problems with your Royal Enfield Interceptor 650 in the comments. And see you soon.